This, this is my sister <coughs> working with Filipino people building the <coughs> ashram from scratch. These are, these are a few photographs of the ashram and the activities there. You can see it is a beautiful place. After she became a guru at her age of 40, she also gave a birth to her first child, a son named Bono, in the ashram. Although she regularly traveled to Surigao to extend her visa every two months, on her last visit she was told that her passport has been revoked and she was arrested. She was a breastfeeding mother of a 10-month-old child. We now already know that the passport was revoked illegally by Czech government. Her son was 10 months old, as I have said, and she was breastfeeding him. <coughs> they have not seen each other for more than two years now. She hasn't seen him, he hasn't seen her. Because Czech authorities arrested Barbara for a crime which they had fabricated. The verdict has been rightfully repealed due to the lack of evidence, I have to repeat. It's a too long year period. Me as a sister and a psychologist as well have to say that this is, or as you probably know as well, that these first years of child's life are the most crucial life uh, years. And two years of them are already gone. So she has been robbed of two years with her son. What is more, she is a single mother. And now, because she's in the detec detention for two years, she has to rely on the ashram staff to take care of her son. You all also know that the ashram doesn't have the masters now, so it's also quite suffering financially. So she cannot even provide for her son, as well as Master Jaroslav Dobesh cannot provide for his family. So it is a very dreadful situation. Her two-year-old boy, called Bono, suffers immensely. He misses his mother, and he is raised by being shuffled between available staff members. Czech authorities never shown any concern for what will happen to her little son who will take care of him, <clears throat> and they continue to show her that they are not going to help her in this desperate situation. As I have already said, they have been robbed for two long years, and now it's even more. Or this time they will never get back. His two words on the phone last week were, Mommy, come. So this is a photo of my sister with her baby. And this is he now. She didn't see him walk. She didn't see how he said his first words. And she couldn't even celebrate one birthday with him. She will be three years old now. He, sorry, he will be three years old. Besides this dreadful <coughs> pain, Barbara's health has gravely suffered in the detention. She has had stomach ulcers, gallbladder stones, inflammation of her uterus after the C-section. She has fainted several times. She's nauseous. There was even an attempt for poisoning. She has tonsillitis and never-ending flus all the time. There is zero medical aid in the detention in Bagong Diva. They only treat everything with water and salt. I cannot even imagine what would happen to my family and her son if she dies there. And it's not impossible. 